Good morning, everybody. This is Charles Barnett of Apostolic Gatherings Network, and I just got back from our Sunday prayer meeting, um, AGN, Apostolic Gatherings Network, and we had a very good, powerful prayer today, and there was prophecy. We had prophecy, and um, first of all, I want to read the scripture in Matthew chapter uh, 11, Verses 28 through 30, and it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's Jesus saying that. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Lord told us, he said, uh, <clears throat> He says, come to me for rest. Come to him and we will find rest. He said, come to me and you will find rest. He told us three times, come to him and we'll find rest. And then he said, the burdens we have, he's given them to us. And he said, yes, the burdens you have are from me, but you were never meant to bear them by yourself. You're supposed to bring them back to me so we can bear them together. And it was really powerful. And so I wanted to share that with you because I don't know about you, but God has laid some burdens on me. And sometimes it's just overwhelming, just like many of you have burdens that are overwhelming. And sometimes we feel like we're just not strong enough. And the truth is, we aren't strong enough. And we're not supposed to be strong enough to bear them by ourselves. We're supposed to bring them back to God, Jesus Christ, so that he can help us bear them. Just like the scriptures I just read. And the Bible also says in Romans chapter 8, the Holy Ghost, God's Spirit, Christ in us, the hope of glory, it um, makes intercession through us. Amen. So the Holy Spirit makes intercession through us. Uh, for the will of God, for the saints of God. So we are supposed to take our burdens back to God and he's supposed to help us bear them. Because why? He's the miracle worker. He's the deliverer. He is the God who heals, who saves, who who delivers, who makes free and who fills with his spirit. And it's amazing. So the Lord said, come to him for rest. Bring the burdens to him. So it's time for us to do more prayer unto him than anything else. I know you like to praise God and you like to sing unto God, but uh, we've got to pray and bring our burdens to the feet of Jesus. And that happens through prayer. And intercession is an extension of our prayer. Praise God. And then the Lord also reminded us, of the scriptures that are in Luke chapter 18, verses 10 and on, where God, he said, I give you power uh, to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He says, uh, but don't rejoice that the spirits are subject to you or to you in my name, but rejoice that your names are written in elevation, that your names are written in heaven, a place, a position of authority. So, amen. God bless you. I just wanted you to uh, share in this prophetic word. And if you've been heavily burdened, and uh, just take it to God in prayer. Take it to Jesus in prayer. Bring it to his feet, and he will help you and I bear it. In Jesus' name. God bless you in the name of Jesus.